Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Zatarain's Cheddar Garlic Biscuit Mix. This was sent to us from Georgian, so thank you very, very much to Georgian. For this mix, uh, you need three ing additional ingredients. You need one cup of milk, and then you need one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and then you also need uh, eight tablespoons of butter, which is one stick, but you need to, and it needs to be melted, but you need to reserve two tablespoons to brush on the top once they're baked. So you want to preheat your oven to 425 with the rack in the middle position. It says spray the baking sheet with a nonstick cooking spray. I use parchment paper like I always do. Um, and then you want to take your biscuit mix and then everything but your two tablespoons of butter, and then you want to stir them together for three minutes. So this is how your mix looks after three minutes. You want to drop these by a uh, fourth of a cup onto your uh, baking sheet. And this makes about 12 biscuits, so I'm just using my fourth of a cup, and I'm gonna do it like that. And those are gonna be absolutely huge. So, I may or may not get 12. <laughs> well, you're heaping too. I am heaping, yeah, I'm heaping. I'm gonna uh, bake these, and then I'll have enough left to get on another, uh, I'll do another baking sheet. I might take some off of that first one, the first two that I did, because I did make them like extra large. Um, but you want to bake these for 14 minutes, and then when they come out, we're, gonna, we're going to brush our butter over the top. This is how they look after 14 minutes. So now you want to take your butter, and put it over the top, just like this. And now, I like to eat my um, biscuits warm, so we will probably immediately uh, try one of these, but they look and smell delicious. So we have a couple of biscuits over here. Um, this um, it has no artificial flavors or colors, no preservatives. It says if you want to make cut out biscuits, you can. Um, you, um, the, the directions are just a little bit different. Uh, it says garlic lover's tip. Stir in half a teaspoon of garlic salt into two tablespoons of the reserve melted butter and use that on the top of the biscuits. So that would add some more garlic flavor. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We, they might, be, might be fun. Yeah, they smell really garlicky right now, so we'll see. Um, and then it says they give you some more stir-in ideas. So it says try any of these. Uh, two tablespoons of finely chopped jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. um, you can substitute uh, with pepper jack cheese or Monterey Jack cheese in place of your cheddar. Um, you can add a fourth a cup of crumbled cooked bacon. That Anything. sounds good. Um, Jalapeno so, that sounds really good too. And yes. you just mix that in with the cheese and stuff when you're mixing your Absolutely, yeah. Any, honestly, any of those. We love pepper jack cheese. Mm -hmm. So that sounds delicious too. So, but we tried it there standard right. recipe. Whatever, the, whatever they recommend, exactly. or whatever the standard yeah, recipe was. Uh, so this is www.zatarains.com. It says a fourth of the cup mix, 26 grams is 90 calories. You have to weigh it if you really wanted to be accurate. You and these feel really, they're hot. It is still hot. So. Hey, what, you see the seasonings and stuff and they're really good yes, too. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm just gonna. Here is one. Yeah, they're, they're um, they fall apart. Uh huh. Mm. I love the texture. Mm hmm. They're very fluffy, almost pillowy. They're wonderful. I love the uh, amount of garlic. Mm hmm.
The difference between this mix and the Red Lobster mix is the Red Lobster mix required water. This one requires milk. Also, the Red Lobster mix, you they give you a little packet of seasoning to add with your butter that you put on the top. This does not give you any seasoning. But they suggested you could do that. They suggested the you could do that. The I Red Lobster one just gave you that. I love the texture of these. I could eat this. Oh, yeah. so like, it's really, really good. You could just sit there and eat Oh, my gosh. That'd be I mean, your dinner. <laughs> it's just awesome. It's very, very good. Um, and I like it that the garlic also has a little saltiness to it. Mm-hmm. Because pure garlic is kind of strong, but garlic and a little bit of salt is really nice. I That's think really as far, because you can't help but compare the two. Yeah. You really, you can't help it because when you hear uh, cheddar biscuits, you automatically think of Red Lobster. That's just how it is because they... I, I don't know if they're the ones that started it, but that's what they're known for, Red Lobster. They're not known for their seafood. They're known for their cheddar biscuits, of all things. Um, I think the Zatarans has them beat on texture. Mm -hmm. I love the texture of these. Phenomenal. I think the Red Lobster has them beat on the amount of seasoning, and that is because they give you the packet to put in the butter to spread on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you were to add your own garlic to the butter at the end, yes. you would even elevate this even more. Yes. So as far as the, the basic biscuit recipe, I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. I do think Zetterin's is the same because the Red Lobster biscuit, it still has that base, this the same amount of garlic. It, it's just that once you get to that putting the butter on the top, they, the Red Lobster gives you that additional packet. I think they could have given you that yeah. additional packet too. And then there would be like, it'd be like almost the same. Mm -hmm. um, but I absolutely love the texture. Yeah, either one you could get a hold of. Like we've never, I haven't seen this in our area. No, uh, they might have it though. They might, we haven't looked for it. No, we haven't looked for it. But I don't remember. So I'm wondering that. what the price difference is what I'm wondering. Yeah, so either one of them would be good. I think you'd be happy with either one of them. Mm -hmm. We Absolutely. really, we really like the convenience though of like the Red Lobster frozen ones. The frozen ones. They're excellent. You I just think, take them out of the freezer, yes. pop them on a pan, bake them, they're done. So um, convenience factor, I would go with those. But either one of the dry mixes, either one would be. I wonder if Zatarans will come out with a frozen version. No, no, they do have some frozen meals and stuff. Because too. when it comes to, am I going, we've tried them both ways, the Red Lobster. When it comes to buying them frozen or making them, I've actually bought them again and again frozen. Mm -hmm. So because they're just, they're, they taste just as good. Yeah, and they're convenient. And they're convenient. You just pop them on the pan. So for me... I'm going to go for Frozen every time. So if they came out with Zetterin's Frozen, I would absolutely try them out. Uh, try them out. Definitely, because that, that has a terrific texture. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much to Georgianne for sending them to us. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.